Next topic is electric fit. Now suppose a charge is placed over here. It has a sphere of influence. This region of influence of charge is called the electric fit. We say electric field strength. Now suppose a test charge Q0. Q0 is a test charge. What is test charge? It is a influence symbol positive charge. Now if we bring a charge over here, there will be repulsion between these two charges. That means we know that a field is created by the positive charge Q. Now electric field strength is given by the, that force divided by the test charge. The SI unit is volt per meter or Newton per coulomb. Now electric field strength is given by electric field lines. These are the imaginary lines. Generally, from a positive charge, the electric field lines emanate from it. They are given by the arrows. And uh, for negative charge bodies, the electric field lines will go towards it. Now, electric field strength due to point charge Q at a distance R. Suppose a uh, charge is kept over here at a distance of R from the charge Q. Then, the, uh, then from Coulomb's law, F is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0, Q, Q0 by R squared. R is a separation between the charge Q and Q0. Now, electric field strength we are taking the magnitude here only so e equals a by q0 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r square and in vector form the electric field is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q vector r by r q just like the Coulomb's law in vector form now electric dipole Suppose there are two charges minus Q and plus Q separated by a distance 2L. For symmetrical reason, we have taken 2L. So that uh, if we take a middle part O, so this part is L and this part is L. So electric dipole is a system of two equal and opposite charges separated by a distance 2L. Now, electric dipole moment this P is called the electric dipole moment it is equal to the product of the magnitude of one charge and the distance between the two equal and opposite charges so P is called the electric dipole moment and the direction of electric dipole moment is from minus q to plus q. Now we will find out the electric field strength at any point P due to electric dipole. Suppose this is the electric dipole minus q and plus q separated by distance L plus L that is 2L. O is the midpoint. We have to find out the electric field strength at P. Now plus Q is a distance of R minus L from P and minus Q is a distance of R plus L from P. E1 is the electric field due to plus Q and E2 is the electric field due to minus Q. Now E1 is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon square Q by R minus L whole square. Direction is from P to P. Why? Because from plus the electric field emanates, from plus charge the electric field strength emanates, so it will be directed towards P, that is from B to P. Again, from uh, electric field expression due to point charge, it is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q by R plus L whole square P to L. So this is the minus Q charge. Means, uh, E2 is the electric field strength due to minus Q. So minus Q and P is the distance of 
R plus L, R plus L distance. So R plus L holds for has been written, and the direction is from P to A because it is negative charge. So the electric field will be towards the negative charge. So from this two electric field expression, we can assume that P one is greater than P two. Why? Because you see this expression, it is a R minus L and it is R plus L. So this total expression will be greater than E2 because of this. So E1 greater than E2. So the net electric field at point P due to the full dipole is equal to E1 minus E2. Then we put the formula P by 4 by epsilon zero, 1 minus R minus L whole square minus 1 by R plus L whole square. We just simplify it. And we are getting Q by 4 pi epsilon square, 4 uh, R L by R square minus L square whole square. Now we replace uh, this one, the total this one, by the electric dipole moment. We know that electric dipole moment is equal to uh, Q into 2L. We just put it over here. You put it, you get 2 p r by r square minus l square whole square. That is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon square 2 p by r q. If r greater than generally, this a is much lesser than the half. So we can neglect the value of l by putting a equal zero. As it is smaller. By putting a equal zero, we will get two p by r q. So the total expression for the electric field due to dipole along the axis or the end on position is e equals one by four pi epsilon zero two p by r q. Now assignment from the electric field and charges. Long answer type question number three and six and numericals four and thirteen. Thank you.